is a short video showing you my corner in my studio where I paint. So as you can see, I've got a an, an old uh, architect table, which if I move backwards, you can see um, is pretty inclined. Um, it's, it's a steep incline inclination. Um, as you can see, my sheet is basically just sitting on a dry towel, which is a, um, attached by two, two pegs at the top. Um, this, the, the towel is dry, but the sheet just basically sits there because it, it sort of um, sticks to the, the texture of the towel, even though the towel's dry. Um, I obviously dry my brush uh, on the towel, which is why it's nice and clean. Um, I don't wash it very often, so it's kind of very crunchy at the moment, but it's, it's dry. Um, and as you can see, I can move this around to any direction I like, and the sheet will basically just sit there. It won't fall down. And that's just because of the texture of the paper and the texture of the towel. So that's uh, the main reason why I have it there. It means I can step back. I don't have to hold my sheet. It's inclined as I like. I don't have to, um, to stretch it because if I do stretch the paper, then the edge of the board would have to sit flat against the, the, um, the easel, uh, which I don't want because I often paint completely on an angle. So the rest of my material coming back down here, I've just got extra paints, pencils and, and all the stuff that I may need. Um, that's, that's one of my kids. I don't know what it's in there for, but I usually have all sorts of stuff that I don't need. Um, my standard paints, as you can see, very simple. I don't have a lot of them. Um, most of them are Winsor and Newton. The only one that which really isn't is the, the gouache, the white gouache. Here you can see my paint brushes again, they're very simple. I've got um, an oil brush, a small oil brush, which I use sometimes to take off paint. Um, two synthetics to give the smaller, more hard edge detail. Um, a Raphael mop brush, and these come from SAA. These are, um, these are good brushes, I've had them for about two years and they're, um, they're, they're very good to create detail, but also have a good reserve. Here's my palette. Everybody's palette's a bit different. Mine is here. It's uh, very clean. At the moment, you can actually see white on the palette, so that's a rare adventure. The pot's also very clean. That's because I broke it a couple of days ago. So this is a new one. So you're clean, seeing a very clean version of usually what I use. Um, but in any case, the white is here. Every single color goes in the same place all the time. That way my hand actually finds the colors automatically. I don't really look at my palette too much when I paint. Um, so my white, um, here we have um, ultra, Ultramarine, the green shade here, um, Transparent Yellow, Burnt Sienna, um, Permanent Rose, then here I have um, Windsor Green Blue shade, Windsor Purple Dioxazin, here's some more Burnt Sienna because I often mix these two together so it's just easier than bringing it across. And here in the middle, um, it's probably hard to see, but that's actually where my winds are blue. That's a green shade, which is in there at the moment. Um, that's where that goes. This is basically where I mix. This is where most of the mixing happens. And this, as I said, is just basically whatever I use, um, particularly for one painting, but I don't need all the time. So there you go. That's my mess. Everybody has their own installation, but I think sometimes it's interesting to see how other people set their things up because it gives us our ideas. But one of the the most important things in my painting setup is the angle that angle which is really steep because that angle allows me to step back but it ensures that the water just keeps moving okay so there you go